All aboard! It's time to pursue Charge Man. I guess you could say we have a train to catch. <laughs> Let's just hope our plans don't derail, if you know what I mean. Anyways, Charge Man's stage is a lot more exciting than the last one, which is good. Right off the bat, we're introduced to some new enemies. Rembacoons. They're like flying metals which carry bombs. They drop a couple bombs, but they don't drop them one after the other. Well, yes they do, they just don't drop them continuously. And take a look, we've got metals and trains. Isn't that adorable? But they are still pretty formidable. They're known as Metal K-1000s. And I love the fact that we are literally on a moving train and the background is moving as well. You gotta love the little touches like that because as I mentioned time and time again, it's the little touches that make all the difference. So the thing about the Metal K-1000s is after they shoot at you, they will charge you. So be on your guard. And you can slide underneath those shots and I am doing a pretty lousy job of it. Into the train we go, where we are promptly greeted by Coco. Yep, remember the chicken? It's back. This stage definitely has a lot more enemies than Stone Man's stage does, and as a whole, they're a lot more formidable. Oh, jeez. Those stupid mouse bells. All right, that was pretty easy. And a charged shot will deal with the likes of you. Get it? We're using charge shots because we're in Charge Man's stage. I should also mention that we will finally see how, the use how useless the Power Stone truly is. Because unfortunately, oh, it's uh, Charge Man's weakness. All right, let's see if we can grab that A. Should be pretty simple. All we need is the rush coil, and it's ours. Back to the Mega Buster we go. Dodge the Taban. And yeah, that's done. Oh, take a look at those death spikes. Good thing we don't have to cross them. But we're back on the outside now. I really like the fact that you explore both the interior and exterior of the train. And thank you for being generous with all of this health. I do appreciate that, I really do. Oh, hello. I believe you are a new enemy. Oh, not a rock throne, you're a bomb throne. Exactly the same as when we encountered the rock throne in Stone Man's stage. And see, this is what I love about the stage so far. Whenever I'm about to get killed, they give me a giant health power-up. And I ain't, will admit, I am being pretty clumsy. Oh, you again. Yeah, you're a ton of fun, aren't ya? Come on, we gotta shoot him between the eyes, as usual. Now, with all this damage that I've... Okay, never mind! <laughs> I almost fully restored my health. Here I was complaining how low I was on energy, and uh, yeah, all of the Udons gave me health, which is great. <laughs> well, this certainly has been a bumpy ride, I have to say. But now, it is time to confront Charge Man. Charge Man can be a little tricky because he is rather fast. But the main problem in dealing with him is the fact that the Power Stone never hits anything. Charge Man will walk back and forth, and every time, he'll fire some coal from his funnel. And when he does fire the coal, he will remain stationary. This is your opportunity to hit him with the Power Stone. Now be careful, because if he stops for a moment, that means he's gonna charge at you. 
And there we have it. Charge Man has been derailed. That's the good news. The bad news is he gives you probably the worst power-up in the entire series. You get the Charge Kick. And you know what you have to do in order to activate it? You have to slide into an enemy. It's like a worse version of the top spin because you're always going to get damaged. Useless! Alright, I shouldn't complain because we have one robot master left. See you guys next time.